Hey guys, so um, today I'm working on these glazed doors. Uh, I've already applied the glaze liberally in the center panel. I always like to start in the center panel first, uh, wet it very well throughout, make sure that I get it into all the corners. And then what I'm doing here is I'm coming back with, uh, with a dry sponge and I'm, I'm removing uh, the largest part of the glaze so that I don't have to spend so much time brushing it out. So basically what I do is I wet it first, go back with the sponge, uh, remove say 60 to 70% of it, and then now what I'm doing is I'm going back with a very soft brush and feathering it out, moving very quickly to keep the brush marks soft and to spread the coating very evenly. I always like to start with the center panel first. It just seems like it makes it very easy and easy to work and apply. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mark my styles uh, by glazing my styles. So we have up and down and of course horizontal uh, styles. So I like to do the drawer front or door uh, basically in the direction of the door sets. This happens to be a drawer front and I want it to look like a drawer front with my top and bottom rail uh, going opposite of the center panel and then my rising uh, styles to be matched with the horizontal part of the of the center panel. So same thing, I applied it on very liberally first. I come back with a dry sponge that just has a little bit of coating, start to remove it evenly and then now I'm gonna go back with the brush and evenly work it in and feather it out so that it makes a really nice soft appearance. Um, this does take some practice. This is a wet glaze. Uh, it does set up pretty quickly. Typically you have around two to three minutes of open time before it starts to dry on you. So I'm doing this kind of early in the morning when it's a little bit cooler. It seems like it really helps to keep it so that you have time to work the coating. And if not, then you basically have to re-wet it with a damp cloth, remove it all, and start all over again. So here I'm going through working the inside detail, and you'll see me pinch down on the brush. And the reason why I do that is so that I have a little bit firmer uh, brush to be able to move the glaze where I want it to. Now I've grabbed a second.